Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the video that is properly announcing that we are doing a Leicester City career mode and I am showing you guys some transfer targets and you will decide. There will be straw polls in the description down below. But before you go ahead and vote, please listen. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. That would be amazing, assistant coaches. We are starting off with the transfer budget. We have around 19.5 million in the budget already. And we could potentially get around 5 million added into our budget if we do win the preseason tournament. So let's say we have around 25 million at the end of the preseason tournament and we have that money to spend on transfers but i have to tell you something this team there is only three players that are set for me those are jamie vardy and then in the center midfield position we'll have kante he will not go anywhere and obviously on the right hand side riyad mahrez that guy is just so amazing he's not going anywhere i already played a couple of matches with leicester city not recorded it though i just played for fun and mahrez was just incredible vardy as well so i'm really looking forward to play with those players but there is many players that could be replaced in the future. Maybe not in the first season already, but in the second season. So let's get it started at the back with the center backs. It is Hoot and then Morgan. Those two are really old. And I mean, they, they are strong. They can defend, but these two will be declining in their stats. So I need someone to take over in the next season. They might be playing this season, but in the next season, I definitely need center backs in my team that do have potential and can get up to that level of those players quite fast. Jeremiah Sanjus, in my last top five talents of the week video, I tried this guy and I completely fell in love with him. He is amazing. You guys can vote for him or you can vote on this guy who I also had on my top five talents of the week's video. Matt Miazga from the USA, six foot three tall. He's a bit taller than Sanjus, who is only six foot one. And they do have similar stats, but you guys, in the end we'll have to decide so let me know which center back you want in my team also assisting coaches yesterday i did a poll on twitter and everyone nearly everyone has said that they want hidden gems in my career mode so i am getting talent into this team who are not that mainstream i'm trying to get uh, players into this team that you guys don't know about and just make them legends and make them like those players and get them into your own career modes okazaki is 29 years old and we already have a replacement for him kramaric will be his replacement in the future to play a alongside Jamie Vardy who has 90 stamina so I will probably never sub him off on the right back position though we have Simpson this guy is replaceable and he's only 71 rated we also have Delat on the right hand side on the bench or on the reserves right now but he also has no potential so we need someone someone young to get into the team in the transfer window and take over in the future Dominic Jorfa from Wolves, six foot four tall, English right back. He's only 20 years old and he's showing great potential. That is the first choice. And the second choice is Almami Traore, six foot tall, 19 years old. So he's a bit younger than his opponent in the poll. He's also showing great potential. So both of these players could get to a rating above 80. And you guys, in the end, once again, will have to decide. Let's get into the CM position or CDM. It doesn't really matter because... We need someone to replace Inla in the second season. He's 79 rated and he is going to be going down in his stats. We already have Drinkwater and King on the bench, but I need someone who is tall. I need a strong center midfielder alongside Kante in the future. Wilfried Ndidi is the first guy that I'm showing you. He's 18 years old, CDM from Genk, 6 foot 2 tall. And if you look at his physical stats, this guy is a complete beast. So he could turn into an amazing player with some training. And the same goes for the second choice, Christopher Ayer only 17 years old so he's even younger than Ndidi and he is six foot five tall that is just insane I gotta say though his stats don't really look that promising but it would also take some training for this guy to get to a really good level so you guys will have to decide in a straw poll in the description for him Albrighton this guy actually in real life is performing so well and it's sad to see that he's only a 71 rated player with basically no potential at all in him he's 25 years old and we only have Dyer on the bench for him as a replacement who is actually a loaned out player so after this season he will be gone 
We need someone in our team to replace Old Brighton in the future or even be his backup. So, Heldar Costa, 21 years old, left midfielder, 5 foot 10 tall, 4 star skiller from AS Monaco. He's only 69 rated at the start, so he's 2 ratings below uh, Mark Old Brighton, but he could turn into an amazing player in the future. The same goes for Daniel Podens. He's not a 4 star skiller as far as I'm concerned. He's 5 foot 5 tall, so he's not the tallest player, but this this guy has just been added into FIFA 16 and if you look at his stats this guy could turn into a small beast so to say I mean he really looks good but those are the transfer suggestions you guys wanted hidden gems and I have now presented to you a lot of hidden gems and maybe a few ones that are a little bit known but not really to everyone most of these players are below the rating of 70 so we have to build those players up and do something with that also I want to invest my money into the youth academy let me know in the comments down below if I should straight away buy a talent a scout for the youth academy now you can see after one season of simming Leicester City yes I have simmed through a season to just see which players are actually going down in stats Wes Morgan and Robert Hood are actually going down in stats the same goes for Gökhan Inler so all the players that I showed you at the start saying that we need to replace them in the future we definitely need to do so because those players will be going down in stats and we need replacements for the future Kramaric is going up to the 75 rating Okazaki sticks to a 78 I think and we also have a couple of players who have grown a lot like Schlup on the left back position he's someone I do want to keep in my team and grow him alongside the career mode he will be a sick player in the future but other than that I really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what you think of these transfer suggestions and let me know if you used any of those players and what you think of them I will put a so FIFA link to every single player so that you can check their stats out before voting so guys thank you so much for watching have a nice day and start voting peace